you want to get started turning spools of filament into 3D printed models like this battery tray or this little combine model I made, then check out the FlashForge Adventurer 5M. This is a no frills 3D printer that's Core XY, very fast printer and also has a full touchscreen on the front of this. You will need a computer with FlashForge's Orca Slicer software installed, and you can send models over to this either using your Wi-Fi network, you can hardwire to this to your network, or you can also always put your files on a USB flash drive and put it on there. There's a little bit of assembly required. This one takes a few minutes to get it set up. And also you do need to know for your first print, you need to make sure that you actually load the filament in before you get started. And this took a little bit to learn how to load the filament. It definitely has a little bit of a learning curve and you need to expect just to take a little bit of time figuring out how to set this up. I also really recommend getting some quality PLA filament to experiment with this. It does come with a little filament in the box, but really not enough. They also give you everything you need, like you get this build plate for it, but I would highly recommend upgrading to the cryo grip build plate instead, because this one is gonna do a better job at keeping your models attached while you're printing for a better first layer, and also it just keeps you from ending up with spaghetti messes whenever you get this one instead. There's a real learning curve with using this, but I've had so much fun using the FlashForge 5M for the last nine months or so. This one prints very fast. You can tell that it's really designed thoughtfully and the software that FlashForge has and the firmware updates have put more features in this and it's led to better network stability than ever with the 5M. Really the main drawbacks to the 5M is you do have to actually install the screen on the front of it. I found that this does struggle a little bit whenever your room gets to lower temperatures. So if you're using this in a garage, it's not gonna do as good of a job in winter as it will in fall, summer, and spring. This does have other great features like the plate can automatically be leveled at the beginning of every print. But one thing I did figure out with this, the first time I went to go hit print, I felt like it was taking a really long time for it to start printing. And there's just a couple things it has to do before it can print every time. Like it has to actually heat the extruder up to a high temperature to be able to start feeding it. It'll need to go and level the corners out, make some adjustments and things like that. So it does take a little bit of time before the printer actually starts extruding filament. So just be aware of that. If you hit start and nothing's coming out, it does take a little bit of time. You also need to make sure that you load the filament in this before your first print as well. So I really recommend the FlashForge Adventure 5M. I think it's a great 3D printer for most people. I would recommend if you can go ahead and get the 5M Pro though, because it's got the enclosure, it's got a camera, it's got an air filter on it, and it just gives you a couple of other better quality of life features that are missing from the standard 5M. Overall, this is still a really great 3D printer, really fun. It's just not gonna be quite as nice as the 5M Pro.